Now manufacturers love to produce numbers for horsepower and torque, but these aren't the real numbers. These are the flywheel numbers and they're probably a little turned up anyway. They love to put out weight as well, but typically we're talking about dry weight and even if it does say wet curb weight, are they always being truthful there? Is that 100%? Who knows? Well, I'm gonna find out today, right now. So we're heading up to Texas Superbikes right now. Same place we've just recently dynoed and tuned the CRF300L or XR301. Massive gains if you haven't seen that video. Today the focus is on this thing, the 450NK, which is a fun little thing so far. I am, I am very much enjoying this little bike. Now currently we got uh, 87 miles on this machine, so uh, sure it's broken in, whatever. There's definitely a lot of people who go, oh, it'll make more power once it gets more mileage on it. I think all that happens within the first five, 10 miles. I actually remember uh, my teacher telling me that at school one time, taking new motorcycles when I went to tech school throwing a brand new motorcycle on the dyno, you know, warm it up, throw it on the dyno and hit it, then like do like th four or five passes with each pass, it'll pick up a couple horsepower and, until it quits. And once it quits, then you're, then you're good. Change the oil, it's broke in. <laughs> That's how you put it. <laughs> so we gone broke it in already. It's good, it's gonna make the good power. Squeeze through there. Am I feeling saucy? Good squeeze through there. I can do it. Camera's on the good side for that. Oh yeah. But honestly, I would treat my own bike the same way, guys. It's not a, I'm not, this is not a problem. Don't worry about that. These things, not going to be hurt from being ridden. It's arguably good for him. Here we are. Texas super packs. Super backing it up. Look at this thing. <laughs> What's up, man? Do you notice when you roll it in here? See how it looks green? It's going to look blue in here. That's actually the, that's like the cool. Yeah, it's like a, it looks so good. I think I'm going to have the 800 next. I could bring that by too if you want to see what that does. <laughs> see, it looks way more blue in here. Find out how much power this thing really makes. The manufacturer claims 50 horsepower at 9,500 RPMs and 28 foot pounds at 76. I don't know if we'll be able to get torque. I can't find any of the ignition cables easy to get to, and I'm not that worried about that. Hey, what are your guesses? Put them in the comments below. <laughs> what do you think it's going to make? seems like yeah something right here falling off which means there's maybe potential for more at least if not more it'll carry it oh, yeah through. carry it that'd be yeah and if nothing else just to carry it it's probably just fuel related to it and you got a little dip there probably probably some emissions crap so we'll actually run through this real quick is that it yeah try to read this right now see if it lets you read these what is this so the, the, the 450 there? nk ID it, see if it IDs. so you ID. are you are capable of doing a license and tuning these yes 100 and another thing for people they're worried about warranty if we can read the stock original, that means we can write the stock original back. Yeah. That happens from yeah. Let's like <laughs> get in there. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. <laughs> can you stop it now or are we going to wait? <laughs> Wait. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> so the blue is a CF Moto, and then this is a Ninja, Ninja 400. So yeah, that's actually really good. It's hanging on top the whole way up. Looks like with the jaggedness there too, you could probably do some tuning and yeah, even on should, stock, pull some other power out of that. Once again, yes, Texas Super Bikes here, awesome place. Oh, that headlight looks cool. You didn't get to see that, but that does. You need to see that when it. Oh, that is kind of cool. And if you have some tech decks, remember the skateboards? Yeah. You can come here right here. <laughs> I'll take care. So we got 47, 46 uh, horsepower. Just comparing that to that Ninja, pretty good, man. And it's cool to see that he can tune it. He was able to get into the ECU, so that's good, man. That's real good to hear. display do y'all like more? Do y'all like that one or this one? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little more frisky with this thing than I was originally. Seeing how the thing feels and rides, seeing the, seeing the numbers it put down, it just gives me more and more confidence. Oh, f there's gonna be some final destination going on here. More confidence that like things like the adventure version, that's gonna be a serious little machine there for people who wanna do more you know, hardcore off-road. It's definitely like the missing, uh, the missing spot. You're gonna, you're gonna have to come over, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. I'm driving for you. It's all right, come on. 
And that bike could be really good, and it makes this bike honestly seem like, sure, it's definitely beginner friendly. You definitely would probably be fine with this as a starter bike here in the US. I say US, because I don't know, like other places are, it's just different, man. You know, like you really, you really don't start on a 125 over here like they do over in Europe. It just doesn't work. Like I would just enjoy this personally. If it's just my bike, I'd ride it around, have a good old time with it. This isn't my bike though. I'm only borrowing this thing. It's like I'm falling in love with a, with a prostitute. <laughs> I really want to ride one of these engines all tuned up now. I want to I see what that's about. I'm just real glad I found a dyno though in the area. The dude's cool. Uh, he can tune it. He knows what he's doing. Like the way things were going before, well, <laughs> it's making me want to go back to carburetors. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Just clutch kick the tire over the metal plate, why not? Yeah, I call it clutch kick on a motorcycle. I don't want to hear it. I got an aggressive BMW behind me. Bike they're gonna give me <laughs> dyno and shit, wheelie and racing beamers. Hey, at least I haven't off roaded it. I haven't so tempted. Look at that one, it's usable six speed. I love that, dude. We're sitting here at five and a half. It's so smooth right here. Ooh, there's the cop. I like slow that down a little. Picked up some gas. We're gonna top this tank off now before we weigh it. I'm gonna fill it up. There's a bar right in here. Oh, okay. That's a lot of gas. Luckily, it didn't spill on the bike. All right, I guess that wasn't all the way tight. That's hilarious. I'm gonna feel fun now. There we go, right there. Okay, okay, I gotta open the garage. The way that we're gonna be weighing this is using this heavy duty scale here. Put some wood under one wheel to make it the same height as the scale. Get the number, flip it around, check it the other way, add the two numbers together and that'll be the correct weight. And before you comment that that won't work, that that's incorrect, we did a whole video testing this theory and this is 99.5% accurate to my testing. So it's not too late, you can delete that comment. Don't, don't sit there and tell me something dumb like I'm gonna be weighing the bike twice. Still on our wood good. Just trying to barely touch this bike. I'm just gonna call that 190. It's a pinch over, but you get it. We'll just keep it right here and flip everything around. I'm gonna call that 195. It kind of bounced it around there. 190 for the front, 195 for the rear. Pretty good balance for a total of 385. Pretty good. It's all my video before this, there's a massive battery under there. This is probably those bikes that a lead battery would save seven or eight pounds off of. Probably do a full exhaust will save you probably another couple pounds. But then again, you're gonna throw something like a crash cage on it, some sliders, whatever else. You're just gonna gain it all back. This is something we talked about in that original video when we were weighing motorcycles. Um, people's expectations of like saving weight is silly and you're probably not gonna really notice anyway. It feels really fun to ride around. It feels really light. By the way, that dyno there, here it is compared to a Ninja 400 on the same dyno done by Alex as well at Texas Superbikes. So There's good numbers right there. I think the Ninja comes in a little lighter and we've done it ourselves. I don't have nothing to gain or lose whether, whether these numbers are you know helping the brand. I'm just giving you the guys the honest truth. So you take from that what you will. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe or I'm gonna be testing the 800 next. As well as we do a lot of other fun stuff around here. And if you wanna help support this channel, go over and jump onto my Patreon. It's just $1 a month. That's all it costs. You'll have access to everything. You don't have to pay for every time you watch a video. I think there's some confusion about that. No, it's $1 access to like year, it goes years into the past. Extended cuts of a lot of the videos, early access. And then of course you'll get into my Discord where you can go in there and chat with me. It's a fun time. I gotta get out of this garage. It smells like gasoline. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. I gotta get out of the garage.